Let's look at helmets and concussions, and then let's talk about the NFL guardian cap. First, the average high school and collegiate American football player sustains about 625 hits a season with the highs being over 1,000. So we want to protect the head, but how do these helmets hold up? Helmets don't seem to prevent concussion, but they do seem to prevent superficial trauma like fractures. We see that again here with soft headgear for soccer. We see that again here in soccer. And we see that again here across multiple contact sports. This study actually shows a slight benefit for mouth guards, but a significant benefit for policy change like uh, body contact in youth hockey. Here's a paper that looks at the biomechanical complexity of developing helmets for concussion prevention. Essentially, current helmet material is really good at dispersing high forces that would cause fractures and very serious injuries, but not so good at low forces like concussive forces. They might actually make concussive forces more likely. We see that echoed again here looking at NCAA D1 uh, women's soccer data. At best, it doesn't reduce concussion rates. At worst, it makes concussion more likely. That brings us here to the NFL Guardian cap being debuted this preseason. The NFL is reporting a 10 to 20% reduction in impact severity. That is good, and no one's saying it's not. Cough, cough, TikTok commenters. But what we don't have yet is outcome data. Does this reduction in force reduce concussions? When you pull up the Guardian cap on PubMed, you get two results. The first one is in youth athletes, not collegiate or professionals, and it doesn't even single out the Guardian cap. The second study showed these caps don't alter impact severity significantly. Away from PubMed, this master's thesis found that the cap reduces impact severity about 7% with an average peak G-force of 85 Gs. Let's talk about that. 85 Gs falls into the low to moderate end of concussion threshold. Based on football helmet sensor data, we see that concussion happens between 70 and 160 Gs. The Guardian cap may lower the threshold for these low threshold concussions, but we just don't have that data yet. And here's why I think it's important to be hopeful, but a bit skeptical. We can put whatever we want on the outside of the head, but if there's sufficient acceleration deceleration, there will be concussion. 